Hey y'all, Becky Zinn here, and I'm gonna teach you how to create a multi-image graphic to quickly swap out images as you have changes in your product or seasons, etc. So we're gonna go up here to the top left corner, create a design, click on that button. As always, we're gonna do a social media square. So we're gonna type in social and get the 1080 by 1080 image. Once this comes up, we are gonna go somewhere a little different that we don't always go. We are going to go to elements down on the left panel, the third one down. And if you scroll down, you will see grids. Click see all. And let's find, let's see, let's find one with a couple options. All right, let's grab this one with the three different sizes. It's gonna put it to the full screen. And now these little clouds and ground is just a, like a little template save place until you put an image there. So let's go back up to, I'm sorry, not photos. Let's go down to uploads. I already create uploaded a bunch of product images that I want to be using. Now, all I'm going to do is simply grab the image I want to use and slide it over to where I want it. Let's see, and you can change them out until you find something that you like. Um, all you're doing is dragging and dropping. There we go. I want to do something like this. Now you can easily add text to these um, to these collages um, by going to the text field. Let's see, let's grab this one. Now you're going to see that it's hard to tell what it's saying because of all the images. So let's go ahead and create a highlight. Go back up to elements on the left hand side, hit that little X and you'll get rid of the grid search. And now we're going to go to shapes and here's a square and we can easily start moving this to fit in between. Actually, I kind of like it like that. Now let's click on the square because that gray is just too dreary. We don't want to do that. And now remember, Canva will tell you the colors in the image. so You can kind of go through and see if any of those strike your fancy and you think that it'll be cute and you like it. Or you can go ahead and pick something that's more of your brand color or something bright and fun. Let's see, I kind of like this. Let's go here and let's do new spring. Ungroup it, there we go. New spring collection. Oh, Canva's getting a little temperamental. I've been doing too much stuff in it today. And pull that up, there we go. New spring styles. And you can just keep pulling this text square to make it go longer or shorter, depending on how you want it to sit. And if you guys notice that little pink line in the middle is when you move this back and forth, it's gonna tell you where the center point of the image is. It's a really great tool to use when you're trying to center things in the middle, especially text. All right, I'm gonna add my Instagram handle. Always add a handle or a website so people know where to find you. Do not rely on them seeing your original post. All right, let's pull that over. And it's just that simple. Now this one I'm not really digging. So let's go back over to photos. Let me show you how easy it is to swap this stuff out. Oops, sorry, uploads, because they're my photos. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to swap these things out. Let's grab this one. And look, I can just easily grab and try something else. There, I like that, that's a lot better. And now you can change up the fonts. You can come up here and play with some different fonts and see if you would like something else. Um, change the size. The possibilities are endless, you guys. You just gotta get in here and start trying things, seeing what works, seeing what you like. Um, and actually, I think I'm gonna move this back to white. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so we're gonna go back where I started. All right, and then go ahead and just hit the download button and your image is ready to post. And that is how you easily create um, a collage images, a collage product image. Have a great day, guys.